there is something I do want to ask you about. What do you think about this Navigator 2.0? I mean, to me, it's super confusing. And I, I did mention that to the email I sent to you, right? Like, I feel like it's such a step backwards compared to what we used to have. But I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, there's a reason. Yeah, why so I, I put it, right? out a video about this exact topic and like, I don't remember the name, but it's, I think it was something like why I don't like Navigator 2.0. Um, the, yeah. the story with that is I decided, you know, I'm like, I, it, so the way I kind of do videos, I decide on a topic and then I learn about it. And that's kind of how I drive myself to learn more about Flutter because I know I have to put out a video about it. So I have to learn the specific topic. So I was dragging on making the video on Flutter on Navigator 2.0 just because um, I kept putting it off. And then I finally decided, I'm like, all right, in two weeks, I'm going to make a Navigator 2.0 video. I got to learn about it so I can teach people. And I think, and I, I never had a problem learning a topic. I feel like a, like a most Flutter topics, they're well documented. They're easy to learn. And like, it's, I've never had an issue learning within like a couple mm-hmm. of days, uh, like what that topic is. And Navigator 2.0 was a different story. That that one took me a long time to figure out what what it actually, how to make it work, what it actually is supposed to do, what is what it's supposed to solve, and the uh, the end result and was that like it solves the issues that it came out to solve, like it fixes the problems that are there, but it does not make it easy for Flutter developers to use, and. Um, I think mm. I, I'm sure I'm sure if you spent enough time learning about Navigator 2.0 and like really learning the ins and outs on it and maybe they put out more documentation explaining it better you could use it and your apps would work fine but um it's just it wasn't like I feel like the big selling point of Flutter is just the ease of use and how nice of a developer experience all of it is and that was kind of a step not in that same like aisle mm. but I yeah i totally agree i mean sorry uh well, i just want to say like my understanding was that they wanted to redo the router because the stack based routing works fine for apps right because you there's not really uh what do you call that like it's not like the web where you can punch in a url at any point and you can go there it's that you know with that mobile app you you really have a set standard of there's a forks right um, sorry, I cut you off, but like that was like my main understanding was that they're trying to address this issue of we have a web browser, you punch in a route, it may be anywhere at any time. So, you know, and also maybe you want to like change the stack of your back browser. That, that's history, the biggest, right? the biggest thing was so, uh, like the back button just didn't work. Like the browser back button with the normal Navigator 2.0 didn't work. And it's just, um, it gave you Navigator 2.0 gives you control of like the whole like stack that you have and you can like work with it however you want and it does it in um in a declarative way instead of the way Navigator 1.0 does it um and that was it solved those problems it worked but it just wasn't it wasn't nice to work with and they, like I was I was gonna say that they uh there was there are some packages out there that I haven't tried out yet, but they seem like they would make it a little bit easier. And um, maybe that's a good solution to use Navigator 2.0. So I don't know. I haven't checked them out personally yet, though. 